What's up, everybody? You're listening to the Hustle and Flow Chart Podcast with your boys, Matt Wolf and Joe Fear. Check it. I'm ready, Matt. Hit record, Matt. It's recording. Is it recording now? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Red light. Red light. Red light's on. Oh, I'm locking up. <gasps> what do I say? <laughs> Those are the old days. The old days. You know, when you like, we were like learning to do all these like videos, uh, social media videos. And you're like, oh, how do I talk to a camera? Yeah. Oh, well, I remember in syndrome. the early days, I felt very uncomfortable even just like doing screen capture and like having my voice be on video. Of course. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of folks. All right. Yeah. That's a little tangent. And now there's millions of you listening. Millions. Millions. Galax- galaxy ish. wide. I'm going to throw an ish on the end, so ish. I'm not lying. Yeah. <laughs> galaxy wide. Elon's launching his 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 uh, satellites to the world, so our connectivity is everywhere. Yes. Planetary. Podcast. So this episode <laughs> that we're about to go into... There's a lot of information. Yeah, we're not talking about planetary podcasts like this one or uh, Red Light Syndrome. We're talking about biohacking. <laughs> we are. We actually, so we had uh, Theo Lucere on the call or on the show, what? It's been a couple months month now, right? A month or two ago? Probably and two months. He was a very, very popular episode. Joe and I were super fascinated with all the biohacking stuff. In the last episode, we talked a lot about sleep and having more energy during the day. And, and a bunch of tools and supplements. And yeah, 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 go listen to it if you haven't already. It's phenomenal. Well, this is essentially part two of this one, of uh, talking to him. And this one, we're talking about, like, it's coming into seminar season, right? Mm-hmm. So what does that mean? So we're going to Traffic and Conversion Summit. We're going to PodFest. There's podcast movement. There's uh, uh, social media marketing world. I'm not going to list off every event. I'm just listing off a handful that we know of in the digital marketing world. But, uh, you know, all the fitness events that are out there and stuff. This is the time of year, the beginning of the year, when a lot of events are happening. And those events can be draining. You don't the sleep travel, a lot. The crappy hotels, the Wi-Fi that screws with your sleep, which I didn't even think about. But yeah. We talked about that. But yeah, there's like the change in diet. You're away from your normal routine. And I think that you're, is what always jacks me up is the second you like change your routine, it, it, like, you know, leaving your house and getting away from all the supplements and the diet and the, but, that, 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 and the wake up time, that's where things can go squirrely and it's like compounds. Yeah. And you're on your feet all day and you're talking to people all day and you're networking and you got to be on and it, there's a big mental toll of all of that stuff as well. And so that's really where we kind of shift the focus on this podcast is if you're, you know, working at a very high level or you're going to these events or you're putting a lot of the strain on your body because of these types of things, um, this is how you can sort of counteract the negative of effects this is how you could feel positive and happy and energetic and mm-hmm. awake and alert all day long and i'm not even going to start to get into some of the like well, topics he talked about because they're like he oh, there's a we'll lot let, we'll leave that for him there's <laughs> enough information there but yeah we figured it would be important to highlight uh how to basically prep yourself not only at home or or in the office you know wherever you're doing your best work your day-to-day living is really, yeah, what Theo did is he gave like a really good baseline, like here's what you should do for yourself. Mm-hmm. And you know, there's a lot of supplement talk, there's some tools, there's just some some habits and practices you could do too. Mm-hmm. They're all, you know, there's free stuff, there's paid, yeah, there's in between inexpensive things and there's really expensive things. He kind of gives everything. Yeah. Um, one of them, this tool that I love is only like 270 bucks, but it's like a total game changer. Uh, we'll, he'll talk about that later on. But the idea here is is you'll have all the tools and things you need to not only succeed at home, but also when you're on the road, being that road warrior away from the family, away from your routine. Mm -hmm. The idea there is you're going to feel your best there as well. Because that's usually where the breakdown is. I know for us, when we come back, there's usually like this hangover effect that lasts like a few days before traveling. Because you're not going to be in your A game when you just like did a flight for like four or five hours in different time zones. It's true. But you could be you after could be. this episode. Yeah. Now, in this episode, the first, let's say, 15, 20 minutes are very, very science-y. So I, I'm just going to disclaim that now. But once uh, once we get through the science stuff, then it really gets into the sort of tactical and supplements and tools you can use. And and so, the, I mean, we're blown away by the science. But if there's anybody who's listening and they're like, okay, this is a little over my head, it does, it does kind of get a little more grounded 15 or 20 minutes in with all the tools and resources and things mm-hmm. like that. So just keep that in mind when you're listening in a in a quick thing too is yeah matt mentioned he's he was on the podcast before theo and uh, his background's interesting he we didn't get into it in this one but just as a quick little recap dude was an amazing real estate um real estate uh commercial uh, real estate broker broker yes that's the word i was trying to find 
kicking ass like calls i think he said something like 50 calls a day meetings like crazy he burnt himself out and it did not look pretty so like the the other episode he gets deep into his story he got very stressed out depressed uh suicidal i mean it it got bad and the key thing and he kind of alluded to it here is you can't think your way out of things so if you like you know if you feel like you're just tired you're drained you typically have something off with your your meat suit, <laughs> your, meat suit. <laughs> your your body. You're like there's something's a little off, and you can't just think it through. You can't just like willpower push through. It's probably going to help a little bit, but that's not the longevity. That's not the way to live. Mm-hmm. You're going to break down, and that's that's the key thing that he realizes. He burnt himself out. Uh, Theo did, and this these these uh, basically the reason we bring him on the show is to show all the things that he wish he knew back then Mm -hmm. so he could succeed. And now this is his passion. Yeah. 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 Um, And And this is one you're going to need the notes on. Yeah. So let's get, well, well, yes, let's do that. Yes. The notes. That's you should do that. Everybody listening should do that. (laughs) Get the notes, get the notes. Uh, we're going to, there's going to be a lot of links. I'll say it are a lot of tools, a lot of very specific sciencey things, a lot of supplements. Yeah. Um, there's all sorts of different, the, the thing with Theo is like the dude is very specific and granular around mm. exactly what you should get, like brands and all that. So get the notes. Yes, definitely. How do they, how do they get it? <laughs> they can get the <laughs> notes by going to three, eight, four, seven, zero. Comp. Uh, I like when you do <laughs> three, eight, four, seven, zero. Comp. C-O-M-P, type it on your phone. Yeah, so type the word comp to the phone number 38470, text that, and uh, we'll send you the notes, or you can go to hustleandflowchart.com slash comp, we'll send you the notes that way too. You gotta be quick, notes are only available for two weeks, after that they're only available to Epic subscribers, uh, also known as the EGP letter, so make sure you get them before they're gone if you want them for free. Get the notes. Uh, it's a no-brainer. Everyone should. If anyone listening to these podcasts should always get the notes. Yes. And uh, let's just be honest. There, it's gonna extend Actually, your thinking further, and you won't have to feel like you missed anything. I mean, everybody listening to this podcast really should be a subscriber to the EGP letter because then we just automatically send you the notes. You won't miss anything then. And really, just think about it. You can just swipe one thing, like one supplement from this or one tool. Like there's one that can like crush your anxiety. For this is what I mentioned about two seventy five. Like mm-hmm. if you're stressed and all that stuff. Like think about that. They're not marketing this stuff everywhere, but the notes will have it in there. Mm-hmm. That thing, like, freaking A. <laughs> I could change your life. Yep. You know, I'm buying one of them. Yeah, so the EGP letter, uh, we, it's not only just the notes, but we also get, like, bonus training videos from a lot of our guests, and there's a whole bunch of cool stuff inside of a member's area, but you mm-hmm. also get the notes mailed right to your door. So if you're not a member, check that out, too, over at EGP letter. Uh, but for now, go check out the notes at uh, type comp to... What was the number again? Three eight, eight four seven zero. That's it. I don't know why I just had a brain fart. I don't know. That. But go get them or go to hustleandflowchart.com. Let's go talk to Theo. <laughs> You're talking really fast. Ah! Three eight four seven zero. Comp. Theo, what's happening, brother? What's going on? <laughs> You're back. It's like we just chatted like the other week. <laughs> it I know. Feels like Matt and I were talking about that. You're back for round two. <laughs> That's right. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, with with the podcast. Um, uh, full disclosure we were kind of uh re- recording and releasing close to the same dates so uh, last time we, we recorded i think your episode came out like maybe a week a week and a half after we recorded and now we're recording another one and it feels like we just talked to you but um the the audience absolutely loved it we got tons of emails from people saying you gotta bring theo back you gotta talk more about this biohacking stuff because quite honestly most of the entrepreneurs listening uh, you know, they, they get fed tactics and they get fed business strategies constantly. But if your body and your mind aren't operating correctly, none of that shit matters. <laughs> mm. Yeah. You know, I think one of the challenges that we run into is entrepreneurs is, and if, if you're in our space, kind of the, the direct response marketing space, you're used to these kind of success mindsets, Right. And you're exposed to that. And the whole, that's a very Western and very American idea, um, kind of what's called the top down approach. So it's like basically mind over matter. You can think your way out of burnout. You can think your way out of depression. You just have to have enough willpower. And kind of the handicap with that approach is if the systems in your body are shot to shit, you're not going to have the energy you need to manufacture enough willpower to change your mindset in the first place. And then you end up just blaming yourself and feeling worse. And then that becomes, um, you know, what a, what a software programmer would call a recursive loop, you know, Mm. self-reinforcing feedback loop or a vicious circle. 
and it just gets worse over time. So I prefer kind of a bottom up approach where it's like, hey, you know what? It's really hard to manufacture willpower to change your mindset when you're already running one, two or three businesses and dealing with customer issues. Let's just focus on your body first because you don't have to think about it. You just do certain things and your body is provided the conditions it needs to begin repairing itself to begin repairing itself. And then because your brain is, you know, housed in this meat suit, Mm -hmm. you know, that starts changing. And before you know it, you can think more clear. And then that's when you have the energy and the willpower. Yeah, I think it's, it's, you're right, man, because of all things, there's a lot of unknowns and things out of our control in life, business, of course, business, but Mm -hmm. everything. But the thing you can't control are, you know, the habits that you're forming for yourself and your body, more or less, can't control all that either. But at least the habits that you're you're going about things. And I think that's what's valuable that you bring to the table here, are instilling some good fundamentals that we can then use in our lives to kind of, you know, deal with these external factors as best as possible. Yeah, ex- exactly. And then, you know, once you do that, then, then you can go and do the mindset stuff, but not first. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, we, we got a lot of, it's interesting about this podcast because, you know, a lot of times we're talking tactical and we are giving people, Hey, the latest, greatest YouTube strategy and, and things like that. And people always seem to love it. it. Our download numbers go up on those episodes, but when we do episodes like this, where we talk to you about biohacking and, and getting your mind and your body and, and everything in line so that you can properly run a business, we get tons of actual feedback from people people emailing us going do more of that talk more about that kind of stuff Dude, my phone how do i get blowing up text. how do i talk to ted i want to <laughs> yeah. i need to know more of this stuff um so i i think we're we're kind of i think in the entrepreneurial space i think there's there's we're kind of at this turning point where people are starting to realize this now people are starting to realize that you know keeping my my body right and keeping my mind right are just as important as any sort of tactics and I think there was a, a long stretch where people were like, no, hustle, grind, hustle, grind, Gary V, Grant Cardone, like, mm. just get out there and keep hustling, stop being a pussy, right? But I think there's there's been this turning point over the last, like, you know, few years, like three or four years, where, where people are, are, are starting to realize that's not what it's all about, that, uh, that I do need to take care of this other stuff as well. Mm-hmm. You know, I interviewed JJ Virgin a couple weeks ago and, and this topic came up and she, she said, I'm so glad you brought up this thing about this hustle culture because she said, you know, I know Gary V and he said that mentality works for him, but it's not for everyone. It's just what works for him. And he tells people not to do it. But when you have, those kind of guys, what I call the yelling guys, mm-hmm. I think that they have an audience because if you take your your typical person off the street, they tend to have motivation issues. And so they're looking for a guru to plug their umbilical cord in to m- externally motivate them. And so they they like the, the yelling and the aggressiveness because it makes them feel motivated, right? Mm-hmm. But it's a short-term solution. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I want to. So, what I want to dive in on this one is it, we talked about this a little bit before we hit record. Is I want to kind of talk about some of the the fundamentals and some of the like the um the, the the philosophies behind biohacking and and getting this stuff right because I think I think there's so much information being thrown at people. I mean, our our last episode we talked a lot about about how to improve your sleep and how to have more energy during the day and 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 things like that. But if you start really going down this biohacking rabbit hole, there's just I mean, you could biohack pretty much any part of your body or mind. And I think a lot of people just don't even know where to start. Like what should be the first things that I focus on? Where's like, where's my entry point into this world? So I kind of want to go down that rabbit hole a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, in, you know, getting into health and wellness or what became biohacking, I think biohacking is just health and wellness expanded to an audience of people that want to self-optimize versus people that are trying to fix something that's wrong, right? Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> there's so many things out there now. I mean, you, it, should I do carnivore? Should I do keto? Should I do, you know, some people plant-based? Should I um, focus on my gut health? Should I do all this crazy tech and nootropics for my brain? And mm-hmm. it, it it gets confusing. So. You know, just like in physics, they've always been looking for a unified theory, which, you know, would tie together 
you know, physics and chemistry and, and Newtonian physics and that sort of thing. There actually is kind of a unified theory for health and wellness and, and biohacking. And basically, have you guys ever heard of the concept of the body being electrical in nature? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, great. So <clears throat> do you know the story of the Flexner Report and kind of what happened around 100, 120 years ago? I'm, I do not. <laughs> I've heard of the title, but I don't know specific. Yeah, it's an interesting, it's an interesting story. So in the, in the 1800s, you know, kind of later 1800s and the early 20th century, um, electrical, like, so basically what's called bioenergetics, um, but, but basically using different forms of energy, in this case, electricity in the body was taught in medical schools. <clears throat> and this is before the chemical model existed. So like the, the drug model, the right. chemistry model. And it, it, you could go into a doctor's office and, and they would treat you with microcurrents and <clears throat> reverse a lot of different conditions or diseases. And there's wow. been various guises of this over the years. But what happened was, is um, during World War I, penicillin was invented and uh, as a powerful antibiotic and you know, had a lot of results and such. And um, after the war ended and things kind of settled down, one of the original Rockef Rockefellers um, decided that this would be a good industry to invest in because it was, it was new, you know, and it was kind of like the Wild West. And once they got a handle on the market, they looked at how cheap and readily available electromedicine was. And the fact that you can't really get a toll booth position on it. So mm -hmm. toll booth position is what Infusionsoft had when it first came out the pain and disconnect from that software back in the mid 2000s was really high. They were mm -hmm. the only, only, only people in the game. So if you sell one of these machines, like a Rife machine or something like that to a doctor's office, you get paid once. But if you manufacture a drug and have a patent on it, you're going to get paid for decades. Mm -hmm. And what the original investors did, Rockefellers among them is basically commission this report called the Flexner Report, uh, and they went around and basically had a series of public debates and things against uh, electromedicine, and then they lobbied uh, Congress to, with this, using information in this report that was all kind of presented in not a great way towards electromedicine, to remove the uh, curricula from medical schools and they rolled up all the schools, uh, mm. uh, medical schools into universities. So prior to this, uh, you could just go to like, there'd be like a medical school just wherever, you know, it wasn't right. affiliated with the university. So they rolled up the independent schools into universities and then they took the electromedicine curricula out of, of the, uh, of what was being taught and it disappeared from, from the record. It's just, it's no longer there. And so how does this matter today? Well, basically below every chemical reaction in your body is an electrical reaction. So you can actually just go straight to the source and skip dealing with, you know, a lot of different supplements or, or drugs or things and just add energy to your body directly. Mm -hmm. And it'll reverse a lot of this stuff at a base level because below every chemical reaction is a physics reaction. So um, the way it goes is a healthy cell is negative 22 millivolts. And to make a new cell, you need about uh, negative uh, 55 millivolts. And disease cell is positive. And you need to add electrons to that to fix it. So bear with me here. So vitamin mm -hmm. C is an electron donor. Antioxidants are electron donors or teeming with spare electrons. And when you have free radicals in your body, the, the things that kind of bang around your body and, and cause oxidative damage, those are electron stealers. So if mm. you correct the electron deficiency, then you correct a lot of the damage going on in your body. So there's different ways to do this um, directly. So one that I've got a couple friends doing and, and I've done is something called cranial electrostimulation. Have you ever heard of this? I think you brought it up on the last one, possibly. Yeah. 
really cool, but it basically you just clip these little things to your earlobes and it tickles little micro volts of current across your brain and that stimulates the production of beneficial neurotransmitters. So this has been used to reverse PTSD, depression, anxiety. Wow. Um, one of my friends that I got on that was dealing with crippling anxiety completely reversed it within three weeks. What's that called again? The, the Cranial therapy? electrical stimulation, but I'll go one better and I'll just tell you where to get one because <laughs> some of them, you know, they go in price from thousands of dollars and they have weird patents and stuff. But the best one that you can buy is from a company I mentioned before. It's called Soda, S-O-T-A, soda.com, and they call it the BioTuner. Hmm. And they're a company out of Canada and they, they make one. Um, this technology is originally smuggled out of the Soviet Union in the 70s through Hong Kong. Got to be good then. <laughs> well, one of the cool things about it is that it, um, it cures addiction instantly. Hmm. So, so, how does that work? so that's, that's pumping these what micro signals. These yeah, yeah. So what happens is it's, it's just pumping a little bit of DC current across your brain. Uh-huh. And it's correcting electron deficiencies. So let's look at how you can help your brain. You can take certain types of antioxidants that will cross the blood-brain barrier, and there's very few that do, and they donate electrons to the cells that are, are missing them, right? Mm -hmm. And that's, mm -hmm. that's literally how it works. Or you can say, you know what, I don't even need to worry about that. I'm just going to add electrons directly. And right. that's, that's what a CES device does. So, you know, in biohacking, when they're talking about like going out in the sun or mm -hmm. like uh, the paid version of that, which would be the juve light, like I have a couple of those, those are, those are near infrared. Mm. Um, those shoot electrons into the first few inches of your tissue. And so they help reverse electron deficiencies going on. So it's a direct, essentially, antioxidant. Um, pulse electromagnetic field therapy, which is like the magnetic kind of therapy you'll run into sometimes where it's just a, literally a pulse electromagnetic field. There's small ones, there's big ones. Mm -hmm. Same thing. They, um, they, they induce an electrical charge in your tissue and correct the, they donate electrons. And then so all these problems at a very base level start to become corrected. Right. So is this um cuz I you know I've definitely explored quite a bit of biohacking stuff is this getting down to like the mitochondrial level that you know with it's, these electrons Yeah it's actually below that so um it I mean it, cuz it goes down into like an atomic level but uh mm -hmm. it will so it, it'll speed up the ATP cycle at the mitochondria the cellular respiration mm -hmm. basically the process yeah, yeah. that they're in so whatever that cell is there to do, it's going to do it better because it has electrons donated to it. Gotcha. And this is all taking everybody back to eighth grade science chemistry class now. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, <laughs> there's easier ways to explain it because it gets because there's a lot involved. So it's it's basically it's here's here's a here's a super easy way to explain. It. And it's really cool too. Mm -hmm. So every cell in your body replaces itself within two years. Wow. Okay. We have a lot a of cells, so there's a lot of stuff happening. Well, so your, like. your DNA renews itself every two months. Your skin renews itself in a month. Your blood is four months. Liver is six weeks. Brain is one year. Stomach lining five days. Your bones about three months. Okay? Uh -huh. So you have a choice with those. You can give them the right ingredients and energy to build younger cells basically or you can eat crap and not give them a lot of energy and you're going to rebuild it with older cells and older looking cells so when my brain was shot to hell mm -hmm. uh you know i had a poor diet it, it was stunted from cortisol which shrinks your left prefrontal cortex um i knew i had to rebuild it so one of the ways you do that is by giving it good fats because your cells are made out of phospholipids and there's two of them and they have a positive, there's two shells and they have a positive and a, a negative charge because your cells are like little batteries mm -hmm. and you have to give them the right kinds of fats in order for that to happen. If you're eating trans fats, which you would recognize out in the public, uh, looking at a food label as partially hydrogenated fats. What those are from is from food manufacturers. They were losing profits due to food spoilage, and they found out that if you 
boil fats for basically five or six hours, they are one molecule away from plastic and they last a lot longer. What happens when your body needs to rebuild new cells, it'll use whatever is available. So if trans fats are what you've been eating, it'll use that, but the cells are like plastic, which is an electrical insulator and they can't quite get what they need. And so this will cause a lot of brain inflammation and brain fog and things like that. And so if you're eating high quality fats, like a good example of this is, you know, Bulletproof makes like something they call brain octane, which is just highly distilled coconut oil. Like Mm -hmm. MTT type oil. Yeah, that's exactly what the type of fats that your brain needs Mm -hmm. in order to have, make these good cellular batteries. As I sip on my blended coffee with ghee and MCT. (laughs) Go (laughs) on, sir. That's that's exactly (laughs) what you need. So you can actually regrow your brain in a year. Hmm. Just pretty, through what? So walk us through that specifically. Would that be just feed it fats at a constant rate? I was uh, going to say good because Joe's is getting pretty small. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> that's why I got a large <laughs> coffee, brother. <laughs> yeah, what you would want to do is is eat really high quality fats. So you're already doing you're doing the ghee, the MCT oil, and you know there's obviously other ones like avocado and stuff mm-hmm. that everybody knows, but those would be the two main ones. And then you would want to provide it some other building blocks as well to help it do that. So humic and fulvic acid would be a big one because those help Hmm. the electrical charge gradient um, in your cells. And I'll expand on that in a second. And then you would want to add energy to help the cells regrow because that takes more voltage to do that. So in the past, People were running around barefoot. They slept on the ground. And so you're getting a direct electrical charge from the earth. It's measurable. You can stick a voltmeter in it. and It's Mm. 7.83 kilohertz and it's a strong negative charge. So it's an electron donor. This is what earthing or grounding is. And they're exposed to a lot more sunlight that induces an electrical charge in your tissue as well. Um, And that provides an electrical benefit. But it's, I think last time EPA did a study, it was something like 97 percent of a North American's day is spent indoors mm-hmm. you know so we're just mm. you don't have that so you need to figure out a way to add energy another way to add energy is um, are you guys familiar with the term piezoelectric no nope <laughs> so if you take a quartz crystal and you squeeze it between a pair of pliers it generates an electrical charge what the heck yeah so wow. that's what's why that's why quartz is using like wristwatches and stuff um, that's piezoelectric. Well, the fascia, which is this tissue that goes throughout your entire body is also piezoelectric. Mm-hmm. So mechanical stress produces an electrical charge. That's the other way that our bodies got charged in order to regrow cells. So exercise and movement is something that generates, uh, electron donor activity in your body that helps your cells regrow in a, in a healthy way. Mm, through that that pressure the the breakdown all the stuff you're doing to your body through working out yeah exactly so like if you're and it doesn't have to be vigorous exercise like walking yoga um just doing movements if you're sitting in your chair like micro movements um will produce uh voltage in your Mm. fascia and it's an electron donor that's that's pretty cool. That's interesting about the whole quartz thing and the correlation of fascia. Because I know, like for a long time, I had just super shitty movement in my neck, and it caused all these crazy headaches. I think Matt, you you relate in some yep. regard yeah. too. And I couldn't like for the longest time. I couldn't even freaking sit in my chair and work and and like focus because it would just pull from my my neck to the front eye, like my right eye. Mm. And it wasn't until I really did a lot of fascia work. I did a lot of this body stuff, rolfing is what I did, a bunch of sessions, like 10 of them. And it freaking snapped all that stuff into place. Of course, I maintain it. But um, yeah, I, I could see just even at a tissue mm. level, like a tension level, there's a lot you could do to help your brain just feel better. Yeah, I did a lot of rolfing too. I did with whatever they call the 10 series, like mm-hmm. the really hardcore one. Yeah, and- can, we, can we define rolfing? Because I'm not actually familiar with it. <laughs> It's when, uh, I don't know, I don't know the actual term, but it's fascia movement. I know there, it's working yep. on fascia in different parts of your body. So is it like stretches? Is it it's like... It's kind of like a massage-ish okay. thing, but it's not a massage. Like literally one of them, they put a finger up your nose. 
Um, <laughs> so, so does yeah, it? Does it? That it, one. That is it similar to like it. a massage meets like acupressure and acupuncture? Yeah. What do you What do you think, Theo? I would say it's yeah. I mean, it's like really intense. It, so if you don't know what fascia is, it'd be like it'd be like a like a prison massage. You know, it's like super <laughs> super hardcore. It is hardcore. Yeah. Uncomfortable fascial manipulation. The idea being the, the what that whole theory grew out of was the fascia is also a communication system in your body. It uses uh, water primarily to transmit the signal. Um, and so you can reestablish the communication systems in the body by manipulating the fascia. Mm. Yeah. Um, but it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. In, in a weird way, like we mentioned the nose one. <laughs> it said that you, you said you liked that one. It's it's interesting because literally I'm putting my finger up uh, my pinky. I think I got all the way to like the second knuckle, not yeah. my finger, but the so you got the finger up there and like scratched your brain a little bit. Yeah, tickle my brain. <laughs> no, but yeah, it it released. It's wild because like yeah, immediately my brain felt like fired up. Like for a good week, I felt like I smelled way better than I can ever you, did can, in my does life. Does it have to be done by somebody else, or can you do it to yourself? I can't answer that. There's that like a something that's very like there 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 are some self manipulation techniques like um there's there's a device out there called the fascia blaster and the, the creator takes a lot of heat mm. um uh because probably because she's been so successful but <laughs> like they have a massive Facebook group and a lot of people um report like you know pretty crazy results with that thing but i think if you're gonna explore it go to a professional yeah mm. for sure because it's there's a lot of different things to it that, gotcha yeah like. yeah i mean the reason i related it to sort of like acupuncture acupressure is like how you know when you touch like one point it affects a different no, point is. completely uh, somewhere else on your body like literally like i remember part of those sessions they would work on my feet and she was like yeah that's releasing your neck tension right now yeah like so it's things that don't seem connected but fascia is totally like connected to everything gotcha. yeah i mean that's that's what acupuncture meridians are and this kind of brings it back to the whole healing is voltage thing right mm -hmm. like um acupuncture meridians are just nerve bundles and nerves are designed to transmit electrical impulses so like if you look at that cloaked in the chinese language it's four thousand years old it's like it's really confusing but they're just they're just nerve bundles and so there's actually uh ways of correcting voltage in the body that use the acupuncture meridians to deliver um, microcurrents to your liver if you have fatty liver disease or to your heart if you've got heart problems or you know to the brain and like you know that point could be on your wrist or something mm. and it just it travels through your body to to correct that mm. gotcha. wild i yeah. love all that stuff so it, everything's connected but the fact now there's electrical we all have this electrical field, you know, that's been measured as well, but I guess it's the fascia yeah. is really where it's at, huh? Yeah. I mean, the fascia is, it's a part of it, you know, and the, mm -hmm. the fascia is, it's an important communication network in the body too. Um, and uh, it uses structured water to do that or, mm -hmm. or what scientific literature calls ordered water and um, which that water has a charge to it. And that's how the body uses it. The water is an electron donor. So, you know, that brings up a good point, like other ways to increase voltage in your body. Like if you're drinking a soda, that's highly acidic and that's an electron stealer. Whereas if you, what people call alkaline water, that's mm -hmm. an electron donor. And so it has this teeming with electrons, it's electron rich. And so when people start juicing, uh, a lot of times they'll be like, oh my God, I'm on day three and I feel amazing. It's not from the micronutrients in the vegetables because those are pretty much gone these days anyway. Even if you buy organic, the soil's right. been stripped. Yeah. Um, it's from the electrical charge in the water because plants and vegetables structure the water. They take the sun's energy and they add electrons to the water um, that they contain in them and that's what you're drinking. Hmm. Or does that go back to that hydrogen uh, tablet you mentioned in the last episode? Uh, hydrogen water, like dropping that little thing. Yeah, away. that's a that's a part of it. Yeah, I mean, I I um, actually just uh, did a did a nice promotion on that uh, that stuff. It's um, that, that's a fascinating uh, thing, but basically, it's a massive electron donor. Yeah, and mm -hmm. so 
So if you're not going to, if, if you just want something quick and you have a lot of brain inflammation, which a lot of entrepreneurs do because you're, a lot of people don't know this, but cognition increases the amount of free radicals in your brain, which causes oxidation, which causes brain fog and sluggishness. So if you can reverse the, the oxidation in your brain with an electron donor or an antioxidant, you're going to have less brain fog. And so the, by far the best one is molecular hydrogen because the hydrogen molecule is so tiny, it just crosses the blood brain barrier in minutes. Mm. And then it brings inflammation down, you get this sense of calm focus. And then the byproduct of it reacting with the free radicals is water. So it also hydrates your brain too. And if your brain's dehydrated, the synaptic gaps are further apart and it has to do more work for the electrical signals to cross the synaptic gap, which makes you feel slow and sluggish, right? Yeah. So you're kind of getting, you know, killing two birds with one stone there. So are you, are you basically, because this is kind of funny because I mentioned my mom listened to this episode and she loved it and she actually bought the hydrogen wa- uh, like tablets before I did. She's like, hey, oh, really? these are the ones that uh, Thea recommended. Here, take like half. So <laughs> I was like, thanks, mom. Um, Have you been taking them? I actually, I've, I'm not in a routine and I forgot to, but this just reminded me. <laughs> I've taken a handful and I, I think they're great. Do you notice do, a difference or do, for, does it, I, is it? I don't think it's immediate, hmm. but I'm sure if I kept up with it, I would. Yeah. Uh, no, but, I'm, uh, I'm just kind of curious because like, you know, is, let's, let's say somebody gets like headaches every once in a while. Would, would taking that potentially help with that kind of thing or like, cause you mentioned, you mentioned when the brain's dehydrated and I'm, you know, a lot of times uh, people believe that headaches are from dehydration. I don't know if it's related or not, but. Well, here's the thing. What's weird about water and I interviewed uh, Gina Bria. Um, she wrote a book called Quench and she's essentially like the world's leading expert on ordered water uh, for the layperson. Um, and her book is is wonderful. If anyone wants to grab that, if you really want to delve deep into this subject, but what's the title of the book? Quench. Oh, Quench. Quench. Oh, oh, that's actually the title. Yeah, got it. Yep. And and water needs to have the right electrical charge to cross the blood brain barrier. And so what happens is is you have these people that are like, oh, uh, I heard I need to drink more water. So then they'll just drink a bunch of tap water. Or they'll oh, get God. <laughs> they'll get these uh, they'll get this plastic plastic jugged water from the grocery store or whatever which has its own problems because plastic is photosensitive. So it photo degrades. And so you're getting all these plastic molecules in your water, which not only disturb, they steal electrons, uh, but they also um, are estrogen mimickers. And so you're introducing like a powerful source of estrogen to your body, hmm. um, which has its own problems. All the hormones. Yeah. You're jacking yeah, the hormones. Yeah. Yeah. So water has to have the right electrical charge uh, to cross your b- blood brain barrier to, to properly hydrate your brain. So, if you're not getting that, your body has to do a lot of extra work to order the water molecules before it'll go across the barrier and there's an energy cost to that. So what's the short answer? Go to any store in North America and um, get some spring water in a glass bottle. Mm, yeah. um, and there's there's several different you know sources of that. Um, that's because that'll that will still have the charge it will retain it for a year or more um and that'll do it and then there's other ways of of structuring your water at home some of them um you can use a little bit of celtic salt and Mm -hmm. it'll actually add a negative charge to it so when i wake up in the morning i'll take a little pinch of celtic sea salt stir it up and then my water's charged i take it and that immediately hydrates me um, you can use, believe it or not, pulse electromagnetic fields to structure water because you're what adding is- energy to it. You're adding electrons to it. You can use sunlight. So there's these bottles that are blue. Um, I interviewed this lady, uh, Blue Bottle Love, Caden, which makes these blue bottles that uh, hmm. they only let a certain type of infrared light through it. will order the water. Um, it's all kinds of different ways. to. You just have to add energy to the water. Yeah. In, in, in some way. And you can do it mechanically too. You can do it chemically. You can do it electrically. Like there's all kinds of different ways, but it's a really big thing. I mean, if people are going to be going to seminars and stuff like coming up here, it's one of the best things you can do for your brain health is to keep properly hydrated all day. 
So yeah, that's a good point. You brought up Celtic sea salt. Like I put um, Himalayan sea salt, and I think I brought this up last time. Is I yeah. got this from the book. Um, uh, Matt, uh, yeah, own your own debt or own your life. The Aubrey Marcus book. Just yeah, say the Aubrey one. Marcus book. Aubrey Marcus. <laughs> yeah, from on it. Um, that's where I yeah. got that concept from is like, hey, throw some Himalayan sea salt in there and a little ACV. Uh, you know, uh, guy, uh, uh, he's wrong about the Himalayan sea salt. I love the guy and I listen to his stuff all the time. But the Himalayan sea salt for men particularly is not a good option. It's red because of the amount of iron it contains. Mm. Um, and it's radioactive. Which well, not shit, I got to stop that. I got to dump my water. Yeah, because yeah, it comes from a part of the earth uh, that is, is just has a high radium content. And so is it going to kill you right away? No. But over time, is it good to be constantly exposed to it? No, because mm-hmm. you pro- probably have too much iron already. And the only way for men to get rid of it is to donate blood. And that's what causes a lot of heart problems in men is because it concentrates in the heart tissue and the heart is I forget what it is, but it's like an order of magnitude more electrically active than your brain, which Whoa. is why its electrical field projects out like 12 feet from your body. So too much iron interferes with the electrical signaling there. Interesting. Um, okay, well, I'll be tossing that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I switched to Celtic sea salt because it's it's not radioactive or as radioactive. I mean, everything's got some, but... Um, and well, then just for the... the p- Sorry, just just for the people listening, like what what's the difference between like um like Celtic sea salt and just like sea salt that you can just buy that most people just buy or like table salt? I don't really quite honestly know the difference between most of these different types of salts, other than they come from a different location. Yeah, it's how it's processed uh, mainly, and and where it's you know where it's uh, where it's collected. So Celtic sea salt is supposedly collected from an area that you're not going to have the microplastics problem that's in the ocean Mm -hmm. and is very pristine. But on top of that, it's minimally processed. So when you actually get a bag of it, it's wet and it contains something like over 70 trace minerals. And as we're talking about the electrical nature of the body and how your cells need a, a proper electrical charge gradient to get nutrients in and out of it, those micro minerals that the Celtic sea salt contains assist with that. And so there, a lot of them are ionic, which means they have exactly the right electrical charge across your cell membrane and basically charge up the little battery that your cell is. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. That's so cool. a lot of like table salt and stuff is not going to have that. It's literally just salt, like the chemical salt and some flow agents. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So not all salt is created equal. Yeah, I mean, no. we have we have in our house. I think we've got like kosher salt and Himalayan sea salt, and all I know that between the two of them is that one's pink and one's not. <laughs> yeah. But now I know more. Now I know more. Yeah. That's all I knew before. It's also a super important one, man. I mean, everyone likes to talk about these expensive fancy biohacks because they're sexy, and like I have all that stuff, man. But the the best ones are often like really inexpensive, and or free. Uh, and they're basic, but they're, they, they work so well. I mean, like, like a little pinch of salt in your water in the morning is literally one of the best things you can do for your brain health. Mm. As long and as it's the, the right kind of salt, right? The right kind of salt. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, another thing people always skip is iodine. Mm, like, really? Which is freaking crazy because iodine can increase your IQ dramatically. Yeah. It's also what they give people if they think they've been exposed to radioactivity. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because it goes in your thyroid. Yeah, your thyroid takes it up, and it will block a lot of the radioactive uh, activity. But if you guys are looking for like a really good iodine, I mean, especially if you're going to be in crowds talking to people, what's kind of unique about iodine, um, besides what it does for your brain health, which is significant, it accumulates in your nasal passages Mm -hmm. and it coats them, and so when you breathe through your nose, it kills viruses and bacteria on on contact. Mm. So explain the application of iodine. So that's actually up your nose. Is uh, no, no. When you when you drink it or eat it or supplement with it, it goes throughout your body, but it'll accumulate in your nose oh, tissue, got it. like your mucous membranes. And its job is to kill viruses and bacteria on con on it, contact when you breathe it in. 
Mm. And, and so what form do you consume iodine in? Is it like drop uh, like a dropper you put in your water? Yeah, or? yeah. so uh, mm. I use something called Lugol solution, which is not a brand. It's just a type. It's from the 1800s or uh, sorry, uh, 18th century. Um, and it was found that with the right amount of potassium, the charge gradient was, was perfect for it to go into your cells. And there's a company called Mother Earth Labs. Mm -hmm. And they make, in my opinion, the finest Lugol solution available. And you take 10 drops of that dissolved in some water in the morning and you're good to go. Nice. Sweet, man. So a little Celtic salt and our Celtic salt and iodine. Good to go in the yeah, morning. Yeah, you could mix water. them together. Yeah, because that'll, that'll, that'll be a strong electron donor. And then if you have some free radicals scurrying around your body that morning or you're about to be exposed to them, that'll help dampen that effect. It'll mitigate that. Cool. Yeah, Celtic salt is what falls off the basketball players. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, hold on. Good one. Well, what else do you want to cover, guys? Well, we well I want to get into the... So you, you kind of touched on it already, and we, we kind of talked about it a little bit before we hit record, but, you know, seminar season, right? Yeah. We're, we're going to be going... Yeah. Uh, Joe and I are speaking, what, five times in, in, in like, like a, a month in a two. one month yeah. period starting yeah. in march so um so a, a lot of people listening are to be coming to seminars traffic and conversions coming up Podfest is coming up there, there's a lot of big um events coming up in the the digital marketing space and it, it, they're draining right they they use a lot of energy you're talking all day you typically yep. stay up late a lot of people are traveling to get to these events which already creates wear and tear on your body new illnesses are around you everybody seems to get freaking sick when you go to these events because you're packing five thousand yep. people into a single location and inevitably a handful of them come sick so you know let's let's talk about some of that that preparedness for these seminars yeah so let's start with the fun stuff and how to mitigate alcohol if you're going to mm. have any activated charcoal um, yeah, well, that's that's one, but it, you know, it, and it works. But you know, the issue with the activated charcoal is it's such an aggressive binder; it can right. pull out nutrients. Yeah, um, all the good stuff. Yeah, I've kind of backed off on the activated charcoal um, uh, these days. But I mean, I would say one, it starts with um, being hydrated, obviously. So if you can find spring water in glass bottles, that would be ideal. Um, other than that. Um, you can partially structure your water by carrying around a little packet of Celtic salt and put a pinch in your water, whatever it is, and dissolve it and, dr and drink that. And so you're already ahead of the game and that's really easy to travel with and it makes a huge difference. It's just not a lot of people talk about it because it seems so simple. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then the other thing you could look at really is, is what you're drinking. So the most distilled spirit is gin hmm. that's the it, well i mean Everclear, but i don't think you're going to find ever <laughs> yeah so <laughs> mm -hmm. gin, gin or a non-wheat based vodka are going to be the the cleanest alcohol you can find so is that the um, idea like inflammation basically it's not going to hit you as hard yeah it's just like beer and wine are the least processed and they have all the byproducts in them still and that's what causes a lot of the the hangover and the headaches and it makes your your body work harder to process this stuff mm. um so you know choose your spirits wisely i know you guys are beer guys but mm -hmm. uh, i mean because <laughs> you always have your party at the brewery and i always go there and i can't <laughs> i can't drink yeah, well the funny the funny thing is um, Joe and I actually very rarely drink beer, but yeah. we're involved in a couple different beer businesses because at yeah. one time we did, yeah. but like, I probably have one, I, I probably drink beer like every three months, maybe like I, I'm just not a drinker. Dude, just bring <laughs> yeah. a flask, dude, just bring a flask next time. You want to know what's crazy about beer is that the hops in beer is highly estrogenic and Damn there's <laughs> actually whole documented incidents of back in the day in Germany when they'd have women go go out and harvest in the hops fields wherever they were at in their monthly cycle. It didn't matter. They would start menstruating because the Whoa. estrogen was so high and the air is getting into their bloodstream. So, mm. you know, on top of alcohol itself being estrogenic, the hops is highly, highly, highly estrogenic. So um, good thing we're not hop farmers. And, uh, and dude, I thought you said we were going to start with the fun stuff. This is depressing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're right. You're right. So anyways, a little pinch of Celtic salt. Um, and then if you just want to get straight to the point, you should supplement with glutathione. 
There's a company called Live On Labs, L I V O N Labs. Mm-hmm. It's it's pretty expensive, uh, but it's worth the investment. It comes in a little packet, and it's like a liposomal, and you can take it straight from the packet or mix it in some water. It tastes really bad, but it's mm-hmm. a super potent antioxidant, and it'll block most of that. And then on top of that, if you can find a supplement that contains something called N-acetylcysteine, um, that will block some of the negative effects uh, from the alcohol aftermath. And that's, you know, that's after that, you should be good to go. I mean, obviously, you have way too much. Take some charcoal at the end of the night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you even drink anymore yourself or? Not really, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just, I don't even have coffee anymore. And, um, but the, the other day I had a drink and it's actually really enjoyable because I just hadn't had one so long. And one thing I don't like is when people get into biohacking or health and wellness and they're so freaking serious about it. It's like, <laughs> dude, like calm down. If you want to have a drink with your buddy, just have it and, and enjoy the experience. I mean, community is one of the biggest indicators of longevity anyway. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, I, I've for the most part phased out drinking in my life. I mean, other vices have sort of overtaken it more, but yeah. um, we don't need to go there. Uh, <laughs> We've been there before. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we probably went there in the last episode. But, yeah, we did. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's that's good advice. So outside of the the drinking portion, um, like what what sort of advice do you have next as far as the the, the yeah. talking all day and the being on your feet all day? And yeah, I, yep, yep. yeah. So if you have time to prepare, I would start with a base supplementation routine, and this is just these are nutrients that like literally everyone should supplement with. And there's a huge problem of nutrient deficiency in North America. So if you have time to start doing this a few days or weeks before your seminars, you should supplement with uh, vitamins A, D, and K um, and in the right proportions. So try to find one that contains all of them or take them all together. And there's reasons why you need to take them all together, but we're not going to get into that. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts on multivitamins then that might have all of these in them? Terrible. Yeah. Um, Yeah. In nursing homes, those are called bedpan bullets because they're, they're they're not even very bioavailable. And Mm -hmm. the problem with multivitamins is they don't contain the right amount of nutrients in the right proportions to each other. So you know, with vitamin D, you got to take with vitamin A to prevent calcium deposition on your arteries. Um, but you also have to take it with vitamin K because it plays into that as well. Um, and, yeah. and that's vitamin K2. Is, so, um, you know, thorn is a really good source. They have excellent versions of this. It's thorn, it's a T-H-O-R-N-E. Uh, they're probably going to be your best bet. Uh, Bulletproof makes uh, all in one 80 K and then, um, vitamin C, a huge one. Uh, nobody talks about it cause it's not sexy. Vitamin C is a massive electron donor and it especially works well at night because it helps kind of rebuild your collagen and just goes throughout your whole body. It's a large molecule. So a lot, it doesn't cross your blood brain barrier, but it, it does do a lot of other good for you. And it's like really hard to overdose and you know, you, it's just cheap and it's available mm-hmm. everywhere. Iodine, you definitely need to take because it's going to boost your intelligence. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's also going to prevent a lot of viral and bacterial infections. Um, krill oil, that's a no brainer. That's a super potent brain anti-inflammatory like we covered earlier in the call. Mm-hmm. Thinking a lot, using your brain a lot, talking a lot creates a lot of free radical activity in your brain, which is oxidative stress. And so you need to bring that oxidative stress down so you don't feel sluggish and have brain fog. So that's going to be krill oil. So is krill right. oil, is that is that similar to like a like a, a fish oil? Is that like omega-3s and, and stuff? Or is that something completely yeah, different? Yeah, it's, it's similar. I prefer krill because it doesn't have the toxicity effects of um, some of the fish oil. And krill also contains something called astaxanthin which is a specific antioxidant that shellfish contain. And it, when you get it in supplement form in krill oil, the astaxanthin then protects the uh, oil from oxidation. And so a big problem with fish oils is a lot of them are rancid by the time you get them. 
Oh, lovely. <laughs> That's why that on, burp tastes. Yeah, because so they good. lack the they lack antioxidant protection in while they're in the stored in the capsule. So it's just easier to tell people to get krill oil because you're, then they're just not going to deal with the rancidity, which will actually just add oxidation to your body. Sure. Magnesium. I mean, guys, it's something like eighty percent of people are deficient in magnesium in North America. It's really bad. It's involved in over 300 enzymatic processes uh, in your body. And for most people, because they're deficient, you're not going to want to take this one until night. Um, because if you are deficient, you're going to feel relaxed and tired. And you're going to want to look for magnesium glycinate or taurate. Um, and if you want to go you know, one level above that, then you're going to get ionic magnesium, which mm -hmm. Uh, is superior to all forms because your body doesn't have to do any work to use it to convert it into an ionic form, which basically means your body needs to take these other forms apart, break it into smaller pieces and give it the right electrical charge to get it through the cell membrane. Ionic will just go right in there. Hmm. So like the hydrogen supplement I talked about, yep. it, it uses ionic magnesium, uh, which is pretty neat. And one other thing about magnesium for people that are going to seminars, um, those hotels are full of Wi-Fi and a lot of non-native EMF. And we covered this in the last podcast. There are, it does actually do physical damage um, to your body. You'd be exposed to that, especially all night. And it will affect your cognition and energy levels the next day because it holds your voltage-gated calcium channels open, which is the same thing that coffee does. So you're just not going to sleep as well. Magnesium actually protects you from that. Hmm which That's is really cool. And um, stress burns magnesium too. So if you're stressed at these events, you're burning a higher than normal amount of magnesium. So you have to take it. Zinc and copper, this helps with your mood and immune, uh, particularly serotonin production. So, and it also will help boost your immune system. Mm -hmm. okay. And then your, your B vitamins, um, which, you know, you're going to, you're going to want to get methylfolate and methyl B12 um, and make sure you use those. So for people listening to this, they're just like, shit, that's, <laughs> you know, seven, seven to 10 different things that this guy just talked about. This is outrageous. Just, I got you. So you have an option. It's some people are going to think it's gross. Some, some will be intrigued, um, but you can get desiccated liver supplements Ooh, sign me up. <laughs> and there's, there's two places to get them. So Perfect Supplements. It's just literally perfectsupplements.com. They have a great undefatted Argentinian beef liver supplement desiccated. And then there's another company called Ancestral Supplements. They're, they're a little bit, they're newer. And, uh, you know, they're, you'll see them around a lot on social media these days. Both are excellent. So what, um, is, what is desiccated? I, I actually, I'm not familiar with that term. Dried. Dried. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. It's in capsule form because a lot of people don't, can't hang with, well, you can't travel with, I mean, you're not going to like board an airplane with like raw liver. So, <laughs> yeah. so if you get, so apart from the krill oil, it will contain all of these. Mm. So you could just travel with desiccated liver and you take four capsules in the morning and four at night, your magnesium supplement, you're good to go. Well, shit. All right. Well, there's your yeah. hack right yeah. there. Yeah. Cool. Makes it a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, because it, it contains everything and it contains everything in the right proportions. And that, that, that'll kind of help you. So, I mean, that, that kind of helps across the spectrum, right? That'll help with the, the sort of depletion your body has from all the travel yes. and all the sort of lack of sleep and yep. the standing yeah. all day and the talking all day. That, that yep. just kind of covers the gamut. Yeah. Yeah. Because to manufacture more neurotransmitters, you need these micronutrients that contains that. So, uh, I know the carnivore diet is it sounds it sounds fucking crazy <laughs> because like who are these people that are just eating meat all the time yeah well guess what man it's actually corrected a lot of cases of mental illness that's um, what I've, I've heard man we know some yeah, people have done so it too and they've said the same it, and the reason why is because the the micronutrients are extraordinarily bioavailable they cross the blood brain barrier really quickly and they get in there and then it reverses these nutrient deficiencies that are in the brain that have caused these problems. So when you're at a seminar, you're meeting people, you're talking a lot, you have this large output of energy. Um, basically, you got to think of what we just talked about as your base, your foundation, your home. And then you have to look at 
reversing some of the oxidative stress. And so that's going to be what are the electron donors. So that's like glutathione and vitamin C that we talked about. Um, that's going to be doing some movements, even if you just go into a bathroom stall and you do 20 jump squats, you know, mm -hmm. like that'll move your fascia around and actually generate an electrical charge that's carrying around a little packet of that Celtic salt and putting pinches of it in your water that'll donate electrons. And then we should talk about nootropics too. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Because, you know, and, and everybody likes talking about those, but you will hit a point where, you know, you're going to need the extra energy. So, you know, caffeine's one. Um, just of note, you know, caffeine coffee can be very linear. Um, what do you mean by that? It, it's just linear. So it can, it's like you sit down and you're doing tasks and you're just knocking them out. Yeah. Um, you know, where teas tend to be more creative uh, because they contain L-theanine. Oh, so it actually gives you a different quality. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. So if you want to get yeah, shit so done, you know, like closers drink coffee. <laughs> you yeah, know, like close yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, because it's just robotic. It's very linear. Right. So, so, you know, teas, teas have L-theanine or green tea has a lot of L-theanine. So if you want to um, supplement with uh, a little bit of a slightly more mild nootropic, but still very effective depending on what dose you take, there's a company um, called Dragon Herbs, um, and they were Ron Teagarden, the owner. He's one of the very first guys. He was a direct marketer. Um, he brought Chinese herbs to America in the early mm. '90s, and he's he's vertically integrated. He he owns the land that these herbs are grown on in China, and he brings them back. He's got his own supply chain. Wow! But um, he makes an excellent nootropic that's not super hardcore called Diamond Mine. And um, one of the things that it has in it is L-theanine among some other herbs. And I've found it, it's, it's really nice because it's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it comes in a little dropper so you can, you can travel with it. Um, but for the more intense forms of nootropics, you know, there's a lot of the blends out there. Like Alpha Brain is a big blend, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and all that stuff. But it's by on it. Yeah. And, and so, yeah. so yeah on it on it again and you know <laughs> bulletproof makes some too so i would look the blends the reason that the companies make the blends is because it, it's the concept of individual biochemistry they don't know what's going to work for a certain individual because everyone's biochemistry is different so they just use a shotgun approach mm -hmm. um i prefer kind of experimenting a little bit before to see what works for you and then bringing that so you can always supplement with, and we talked about this before, but um, natural stacks, you know, they have their brain um, mm -hmm. supplements. So the, the, the dopamine, serotonin, GABA, and acetylcholine. Mm -hmm. And acetylcholine is, is processing. Serotonin is a feeling that all's right with the world. GABA is winding down at night, which can be very hard to do at seminars. And mm -hmm. then dopamine is drive and motivation. So if you're really worried about it and you have to keep up a sustained amount of energy all day, I would go to natural stacks and I would actually, they, they, if you buy them individually, it's pretty expensive, but they have like an offer for all four of them where it's like, you know, it's, it's quite a bit less expensive. I would, I would mm -hmm. delve into those. And then also your brain's going to burn a lot of fuel um, at these things because you're, you're thinking at a higher rate. And so I would carry Nalgen makes these little plastic travel bottles that seal really well. The oil does not come out. Um, and I carry around a little bottle of MCT oil hmm. and the trick with MCT oil, if you're going to use it as a nootropic is you take like, I don't know, like a teaspoonful and you hold it under your tongue for 30 seconds to a minute and underneath there is very vascular. And so that enters your bloodstream and it goes in your brain pretty quickly mm -hmm. um, when, you, when you hold it there. And that'll give your brain some of the raw fuel that it needs. Wait, so what was the, is that the MCT oil brand that you prefer? No. Um, I, you know, I've been bouncing around. I, 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 it's like, I'm not a whore for Bulletproof. But I do think they have a good product uh, <laughs> for, their, um, for their brain octane. Right. Um, yeah. But anything is going to get it done. Yeah, yeah. Because I know as long we, as it's not a cheap one. If you get a cheap one, then it's going to give you disaster pants. So, 
<laughs> so I'm, I'm curious how, how do we sort of reverse engineer what, what kind of stack works best for us? Cause I've, I've, I've tried alpha brain. I've, um, yeah. I've done it for me, alpha brain to me, it didn't feel like it did anything. Like I didn't notice any noticeable improvements. I didn't kind of go look back on the last like two weeks and go, wow, I was a lot more productive over those last two weeks or anything like yeah. that. To me, I just kind of felt like I was taking a pill and I had no idea if it was doing anything for me or not. Yep. Is there any way to kind of like sort of confirm this stuff is working or yes. figure out what sort of stack works best for me? Yes. So there is a test online for one. Um, and we're going to have to add it in the show notes because I can't remember it off the top of my head, but it, it's, it's free and it's, ex- it's not from a marketer. It's from a scientist and it's mm-hmm. a, it's a super detailed questionnaire that you can answer um, and it'll tell you what neurotransmitters you're deficient in. Mm, and so right. you can start there to kind of bracket what you might need before you go. Um, and we'll, we'll figure that out and we'll put it in the show notes so people have it. Cool. Uh, I'll send you guys a link for it. Nice. The other thing that um, you can do is, is literally get the neurotransmitter precursors uh, that we talked about from a company like Natural Stacks or any, any of the other ones that we've mentioned and then take them before you go and experiment and, and see which one works and, and what doesn't work. Um, the other option is if you just like, look, I'm in a hurry, I'm just going to go to this thing. If you need drive and motivation, you take dopamine precursors. If you need faster mental processing speed, do acetylcholine mm. processors, uh, precursors. And then, you know, serotonin, better mood, feeling that is all is right with the world. And then GABA to wind down at night. Yeah. Okay. So those are basic, those are the big four. Now I know this, this is sort of a, it could be a taboo topic to some, but we touched on it last time we talked to you. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on, on sort of micro dosing some sort of psychedelic before going to an event? I think it's a great idea. Um, So two things to keep in mind. So if you're going to do LSD or an LSD analog, like 1P LSD, um, which for people listening, the reason that that one you can find on the clear net and, and not the dark net is because it differs by one molecule from actual LSD. So there's no law that says it's illegal. Mm-hmm. Um, however, most people can't distinguish the difference. So the thing with LSD is it's, it's, it's kind of like caffeine from coffee. It's, it's very rote and um, it's good for just getting a lot of stuff done. Whereas like 5-MeO-DMT, mm-hmm. like the active ingredient that you would find in psilocybin, is, is more mood and social and talking and, and giving you energy to do, to do that. Um, if I were to use either one of those at a seminar, I would definitely use 5-MeO-DMT, which you can also get on the clear net um, because one of the problems with LSD or 1P LSD is that it basically makes you immune to alcohol. Oh, and so... <laughs> That could be so, dangerous in that environment. <laughs> I guess, yeah, somebody somebody did this at a at a war room yeah. event and um, just forgot that bit of advice and just started drinking with the guys and didn't feel anything. Mm-hmm. And so just kept drinking and drinking and drinking and didn't feel anything and was just drinking to, to just to have one in their hand. Yeah. And then later the the one plsd wore off and then it just hit them all at once oh wow just, yeah yeah so um whereas that is not necessary that's not really the effect of 5 meo meo dmt um so it used to be a company called the surgy that you could get this off of but now it's called chemtheory.com mm-hmm. and uh, you can order it off of there theory.com okay sweet yeah so i think i think those are I mean, I mean, yeah, f- this just good. for mood benefits, really good idea. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away. So this whole time around this is, uh, yeah, I've been kind of thinking back at this. The more you're thinking, the more you're, you're creative with your brain, the more you're using your brain, basically, is what it sounds like, the more you're inflaming your brain. And yes. Yeah. It's, I've never thought of it that way, but like after these podcast days, we're talking all day, we're consuming new information, yep. we're asking questions. We literally feel like like both Matt and I feel this way because we do like three Every or four time. a day. Yeah. 
uh, the evening, like tonight, it'll be like clockwork. I'll feel like I'm almost like coming oh. out of a hangover. Yeah. yeah my brain yeah, is yeah. like, oh. fail yeah, on I podcast <laughs> days. I literally felt hungover by the end of a podcast and the day. next day is like, yeah, a little, yeah. yeah. In my previous life, I, I essentially was a face to face salesperson. Yeah. Um, you know, I sold uh, commercial real estate and I, I used to, if I, on days where I'd, I would have two or three clients or four clients that would have to meet in a day. I would feel like I got punched in the face and totally. because your brain oxidation is high. So it's now known that depression is conclusively linked. This has been clinically studied in randomized placebo controlled double blind studies that brain inflammation causes depression. That is a fact. That's huge. Like that I, is a fact. Well, so that's you, that's a lot of like. With is that kind of like along the same lines with the football players who commit suicide after yes. all the traumatic brain injuries? Sure. Yes, yes, and that's also why if you've had crazy brain injuries, like you'll say crazy shit to people mm. to get a reaction out of them because it gives you a spurt of dopamine because oh. you're you're so lacking in these neurotransmitters that your brain knows it's lacking, and so you'll do. That's, that's why people with head injuries will say or do crazy things because they're, they need dopamine hits to keep themselves going. I went yeah. through that because I was, I was a previously a head injury guy. And, um, speaking of, of bringing brain inflammation down and we talked about some of the supplements to do this, like the hydrogen, the krill oil, mm -hmm. MCT oil, vitamin C, things like that. Um, for people that are more tech oriented and might have the budget that would accommodate this you can use pulse electromagnetic field devices that are frequency based um, that you can travel with. I have one, it's the size of a deck of cards mm. and it's called a flex pulse. And what's neat about the flex pulse is it picks these different frequencies and it will, you literally put these applicators on your head, you just throw them under your hat or whatever, and you can go back to your hotel room at night, switch this thing on and literally donate electrons to your brain and you can kind of pick the state you want to be in. So what's really unique about it is it has a state, uh, I believe it's, uh, I think it's alpha, is it theta? No, it's theta. And you pick that frequency and this has been studied, clinically studied, double blind, all that. Um, it allows you to learn at a much faster rate. Mm. So if you're having problems um, accumulating and, and assimilating this information that you're learning, you can literally turn this thing on and change your brainwave state and you can learn and memorize stuff a lot faster. So some people will even sleep with it on and they'll have like a, a lecture playing all night or something like that. Whoa. This is similar to like the brainwave because there's like an app yeah. that I love and I'm sure this is just taking it to the nth degree. Yeah. yeah, and then you can pick other frequencies like you need to wind down so you can do the Schumann resonance 7.83 hertz or you can't fall asleep. You can do delta 3 hertz um, and you just put it under your pillow and, and you're good to go. If you're feeling really sluggish and your brain's inflamed, you can bring inflammation down very quickly with um, 10 hertz, which NASA studied increases um, neural um, neurogenesis. Mm -hmm. uh, by 400%. So rebuilding so, of the brain. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it does that. And then the other option, if you want something that's less expensive, that thing's about 1300 bucks. Mm -hmm. Um, you can get the bio tuner from soda, which just uses microcurrents. So this isn't using a pulse electromagnetic field. It's using microcurrents. And so that's going to be an electron donor. And so what that's going to do is if you throw that on your hotel room for 20 minutes, when, when you get back there, um, it's going to wind you down and mm. it's going to help your brain balance out your neurotransmitters. So you can skip all the supplements and you can just use an energetic or an electrical solution. Mm. Love it, dude. This is amazing. This is awesome. <laughs> well, I think we should probably start to wrap up um, just because yeah. we've already taken more than an hour of your time and we know we, we're going to have you back if you want to be back <laughs> i think I jonah, jonah i've talked about like it'd be really cool to have theo come on as like Heck a yeah. recurring guest like every other month or something and oh my God. talk about the latest in, in biohacking and what what's new so um you know i think uh i think we, this is a pretty good stopping point we've covered a lot of ground yeah. and if um people listening um think this is a lot make sure you get the notes on this one because i can't <laughs> wait to like read back on all the notes from this one 
Well, um, Theo, you, uh, you helped a lot because I know you provided a lot of these resources, links to our like to us, and we actually gave them to our note taker. We're like, please put these in the notes, yeah. so they're like extremely accurate and makes it very easy for people to find everything. So yeah, I'll find that neurotransmitter test and shoot it over to you guys because that's a really important one because that you can use that to calibrate what you might need. Yeah, um, and and that'll be a good one. And and you know, for people going to seminars too, like the number one thing if if it if it's an option is unplug the router in your room mm. um, before you go to bed, and then try to travel with the sleep mask too. Um, if and you don't have to go expensive, like you go on Amazon, there's a brand with a bizarre name called Alaska Bear, <laughs> uh-huh. but it's like a silk sleep mask and it gets it done. It's like eight bucks. Yeah. And if you just do those two things and take magnesium, like you're going to be good to go. And then the quick takeaway is like all these supplements are great, but if you're down for it, do eight liver capsules a, a, a day, four in the morning, four at night, and that's going to cover all your micronutrient needs. Love it. Very cool. I have a page full of notes and I can only imagine the <laughs> actual notes will be a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so what, uh, I know we asked you about books last time. We always ask, uh, is there anything new that you're, that you're loving? Maybe books, resource, or anything you're fascinated with? Yeah. You know, I, did we, did we uh, cover the book Thick Face, Black Heart last time? That does not sound familiar, but we could have. I've heard of the book. I don't know if it was from our last episode or if I've heard it from somebody else, but I've, I, I don't recall. You, you know, I had an older friend of mine. He's in his 60s, and he's just like a little uh, uh, local business, service business guy. He's a piano teacher, mm-hmm. and he, he wanted more clients, and he came to me. So I wrote him a direct response ad. Uh, on on Craigslist, right? Mm-hmm. And he was blowing it when people would call him. And I realized he had, like a lot of people, he had he had challenges with with money, right? Mm-hmm. He's just w- weird things about money. And um, I was like, look, y- you got to read this book. So Dan Kennedy originally recommended this in one of his newsletters from way back. And um, it's a book called Thick Face, Black Heart, and the author is Ching Ning Chu. Mm-hmm. And it is it's hard to find in it is by far one of the best books that I have ever read. I can, I can say for me, it completely changed. It is a turning point when I read that book wow. and completely uh, transformed my business. And um, it's based on a, a Chinese document from, I believe, end of the Qing dynasty. So somewhere around 1912. Um, and it's, it's fascinating, but it teaches you how to think about money and it's absolutely zero bullshit which is what i like i like Mm -hmm. to get straight to the point like look you can take a hundred different supplements or you can just add energy directly to your body and you can you can do all this mindset stuff or you can read thick face black heart which gets right to the point and so i had him read that book and it changed him like he literally the next phone call he got was uh, del mar family and they sent him a check for 1700 bucks, which, you know, for him, a lot of money, he's mm-hmm. really stoked. And, and, uh, you know, he got a, got a new client and, and, and we're doing that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, that book, uh, I, I, I would do that one, man. Cool. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I've, yeah I've, that sounds amazing. If it's yeah. affected you <laughs> that way and, and him, no brainer. I'm definitely going to try to hunt down a copy. About it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows about it. It's a book that came out in the nineties and, and, um, I, I think it's a lot of people aren't ready for the message because it's pretty savage. Um, <laughs> but it's uh, and it's a female author, which a lot of people are surprised about. Cool, um, yeah, a very, but a very, very good book. All right, very yeah. Cool. No, I, we'll we'll figure out where that is and ideally link it up. I was just looking into my little scribed app, and I saw someone uploaded the PDF to it, but it's not like the official book, so I'm like, eh, yeah. probably don't want to recommend that. <laughs> yeah, I think that might be the document that it was based on. Um, Got it. Which th- this is uh, one of the f- this is the only interpretation of it in English that I've been able to find. Got Very it. cool. Okay. Well, can you um, can you remind the listeners where to go uh, to find out more about you and to check out what you're up to and to grab your supplements and things like that? Yeah. You know, for folks that are dealing with burnout and you want to get some really in-depth information with 
actionable tips and what to do right now, um, you can go to www.burnoutsummit.com forward slash beat your burnout. And I've got five free videos on there um, that go every Saturday um, with some, we talk about the neurotransmitters and, and uh, a lot of stuff that we covered on here, but in much more detail. And then for people that want to delve into molecular hydrogen and ionic magnesium, um, you can go to getsleeprepair.com and I have a, a really good offer running on that now um, with, a, with a free box and stuff like that. And that would nice. be a good one for seminars. But also people can, if, if you need help with something, like I, I am here to help. I've been there and I, re, I reversed you know, low energy and chronic fatigue and, and feeling hopeless. So people can always email me directly and I write everyone back personally. And that's Theo at burnoutdetox.com. So that's T H E O at burnoutdetox.com. Awesome, man. Yeah, we'll link all that up, of course, in the show notes too. As cool, always, man. man. Yeah, this is going to be a lot to marinate on, and I am going to read the notes. <laughs> yeah, and anybody yeah, so. listening, I want we want we want your feedback. What do you think of the the biohack topics and and these kinds of topics? To, um, you know, I want more of it. I'm hoping the listeners <laughs> want more of it, but uh, let us know. We 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 love getting the feedback on this stuff, and also write us to uh, tell us what topics do you want to hear about mm-hmm. regarding this as well. You know, because there's a lot. Like we're discussing, like man, there's like a million topics you can go down in terms of biohacking and burnout. Well, and- it seems like we haven't found a topic yet that Theo hasn't <laughs> it doesn't have intimate knowledge on. So right. you know, uh, reach out with the ideas of of what you want us to ask, and next time uh, we bring you on, we'll we'll have those discussions. Let's stump no. Theo. <laughs> yeah, stump yeah. Theo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. You know, the two, the, I, I know it took us a while to warm up on the body as electrical thing when we started because it's, it's kind of complicated. But if the two takeaways people could, could take from this podcast episode is, the, you know, the top down approach, the mind over matter approach, it, it doesn't, it doesn't always work mm-hmm. unless you're, unless your body's already healthy and m- most people's aren't especially yeah. if, you, if you own a business. And, and so you need to address that. And the body is electrical. It's, yeah. it's, it's electrical first, then it's chemical, and then it's mechanical. And so if you just address the electrical nature of your cells first, that's going to correct all the other problems down the road. Makes sense. Can't think your way through it. Like you said last time, you know, it's, it's got to fix what's going on inside first. Exactly. So. Cool, man. Well, right, thanks man. so much for the time. You've cool. been extremely generous with your time and information, and we really appreciate Always. it. <laughs> appreciate it, guys. All right, brother. Have a good one. All right, man. Talk to you soon. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for listening to that episode. This is Joe Fear. I'm sure you probably already knew that. And Matt is not here right now, but I'm pretty sure he enjoyed the episode just as much as you and I did because, you know, he went into the production of kind of making that thing right along with me. So thank you very much. And I want to give a quick shout out to our buddies over at Easy Webinar. These guys have been supporting us for a while, a long time. And Casey Zeman is just a super good guy all around. He's actually been on the show before. He's the founder of uh, Easy Webinar. So if you look up Casey Zeman on any podcast platform you're listening to, uh, go check him out. Go check out his backstory, what he's all about. You can learn a lot about webinars as well. And right now, you know, Easy Webinar, these guys are actually hooking you up with a great trial. It's a completely free trial to test out their software, soup to nuts, check it all out and see if it's a good fit for you. If you go to easywebinar.com slash hustle, that's H U S. T-L-E, if you didn't know how to spell hustle, there you go. So if you go to easywebinar.com slash hustle, you can go grab a free trial. And Easy Webinar literally lives up to its name. It's super simple, I mean, super easy. And it does all the stuff that you're looking for in any kind of thing with webinars. I mean, they literally cover every single type of webinar you possibly can do. So from live to automated to scheduled at specific times and all these crazy features in between, can't even list them all out. 
I'll be here way too long. They give you a ton of advanced analytics, what's working, what's not during your webinar. Based off all these actions, you'll see who attended, how long they stayed, if they clicked the offer or if they didn't. Basically, you're going to make more money and you're going to work less with this thing and you're going to create better relationships with the folks that are listening because it's a good experience. You want to give that good experience along with some great content, of course, and a killer offer if that's what you got for them. So go try it out yourself. Go check out Easy Webinar dot com slash hustle that's easywebinar.com slash hustle all right alrighty so that is the end of this episode thank you so much for listening to this episode enjoying it hopefully you did I'm pretty sure you did if you lasted this long and go check out easy webinar when you get the chance and we will talk to you next time bye bye thanks everybody for listening to this episode of the hustle and flow chart podcast <laughs> Before taking the time to listen, we want to give you something a little bit special. Every single episode that we do, we actually have somebody on our team take notes. We basically have a Cliff's Notes version of every episode where you can go and find all of the tips and tactics that they laid out, all of the resources that they laid out, all the good stuff from this episode. We actually have a nice, simple notes version that you can find on our website. So go to evergreenprofits.com, find this episode that you just listened to, and uh, give us your email address, and we'll send you the notes. Thanks for listening. Mm-hmm.